Good morning. I'm Clyde Reed, pastor of Good News Community Church in Gilbert, Arizona. I'm 82 years old and have been a pastor for over 40 years. I never dreamed my small church sign would be a topic for the Supreme Court. All we wanted to do was to use temporary signs to welcome and invite the community to our Sunday morning services. We saw many different signs, kinds of signs like political and real estate signs all over Gilbert all year long. We, so we did not think it would be a problem to place church invitation signs. But much to our surprise, we soon found that our town treats church signs differently than other types of signs. If you're a politician running an election campaign, you can put up as many signs as you want and keep them for many months. If you're a homeowners association, your sign can be put up, it can be, be up to 80 square feet in size and be up for over a month. But if you're a church, um, your sign has to be tiny and can only be put up 12 hours beforehand and taken down an hour after the service. Because we meet at 9 a.m., this means that we must put up our signs after dark. The whole experience has been shocking to me. Our signs inviting people to church are very important, yet are treated as second-class speech. We aren't asking for special treatment. We just want our town to stop favoring the speech of others over ours. I pray that the Supreme Court will affirm our First Amendment freedoms and uphold our churches and other free speech rights. We thank you to the, uh, thank you to the attorneys of Alliance Defending Freedom for all their work and to the Supreme Court for hearing our case. Thank you.